Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this entire look and then we're going to go to a party. <laughs> the reason that I am bringing you this video today is to celebrate Cult Beauty's 10th birthday. You guys know I absolutely love Cult Beauty. Cult Beauty was what all my wages went on when I was a makeup artist. Still spend far too much money on Cult Beauty. Absolutely love it. And they asked to partner with me to celebrate their 10th birthday. The whole month of June is all about celebrating Cult Beauty's 10th birthday. There's tons of free gifts. There's tons of money off. It's just an exciting time to be a makeup enthusiast. I'm going to quickly show you some of the stuff that's up for grabs and then we'll get straight into the look. So the first thing I want to mention that is if you spend £50 or more on Cult Beauty and you enter my code which is Jamie10BDay then you will get one of these in your parcel and this is a £10 gift card for your next order which if you spend £50 is like 20% which is great. Every single order in June will come with this magazine which is all about Cult Beauty and it's 10th birthday and loads of product, influencers, favourite products, things like that. Orders that are over £30 will get a pop socket that's got the little 10th birthday Cult Beauty logo on it as well. If you want any more information on everything I just said, please go to the Cult Beauty website and without further ado, if you'd like to see how I created this look, then please stay tuned. Hello. First things first, we are going to, I don't know, I feel like I want to do my eyes first. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to prime my skin, first of all, using the Too Faced Hangover X Primer. Two little squirts of that, and then we're going to rub our hands together and just apply that all over. Now, even if you're doing your eyes first, it's quite nice to put your primer on before that because it gives it time to sink in and get nice and tacky. For eyes. First thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to conceal my lid. So the concealer I'm going to be using today is the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer in the shade Light Medium. And we're just going to scribble onto our eyelids. And you're done. <laughs> I'm just going to beauty blend that in. Now once you've done that, you just need to be sure to set it. So I am delighted to say that I have a brand new... Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is my fave powder in the world. My last one decided to die and by that I mean I dropped it and it smashed. So we're just going to apply this powder to our lids and that just sets the concealer and we're ready for eyeshadow. Perfect. Let me zoom you in. The palette I'm going to be using today is the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions. These little palettes I think are so great. They are really nifty and small. They're great for travel, which is brilliant for me if I'm traveling. And I just think that these colors are perfect. You can get quite a lot of looks out of just one little tiny palette. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with this transition color right here. And we're just gonna build that up in the crease. All right, obviously this is gonna be my party look. So I do want it to be quite dramatic. I just can't bloody decide what I wanna do. And these little palettes, this is just one of them. There's tons of different colors, color combinations to choose from. And they're all just great. I think, I don't think they get enough hype actually. I think they're so good. Right, what on earth am I gonna do with my eyeballs? Hmm. So the next color I'm gonna go in with is just this bottom corner here. Super chocolatey warm brown. And I'm just gonna start building that up in the outer corner first. Same brush. And I'm not worried about spillages because we can just clean them up. And I'm just gonna bring that color a little bit higher in the crease. Now I'm gonna go in with that same dark color and I'm gonna stamp that in the inner corner and that's going to give us the start of a spotlight eye. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and the darkest colour in the palette just here and we're going to start to intensify the outer corner and I'm just keeping it on the outer corner I'm not bringing it into the centre of the eye at all and if you want to intensify it more, just get the product and pat it on rather than just blending it away every time because that will just take you forever. And we've got a party to go to. Okay, I'm going to take my little brush again in a dark colour and we're just going to intensify the inner corner ever so slightly. 
I'm just taking the transition colour to soften the spotlight a little bit and make sure that everything's nice and matte. Now I'm going to go in with that centre colour, the most gorgeous gold. Very nice. So we're applying that in the centre and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that right up to the brow. Oh, I love it. It makes your eyes look absolutely massive when you do this. And if you find it easier, you can even just keep your eye open while you're applying that gold. Now that I've done that step, I know that I want to just deepen the outer corner one more time. Now I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Primer on the back of my hand. You guys know I love this stuff and I've got a really easy technique to doing this that makes it look really special. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and pick up the Glitter Primer first and we're just going to dot that on the centre of the spotlight eye right up past the crease. And then I'm going to take, I can't look, I can't look up. I'm going to take my NYX Glitter and this is in the shade Goldstone. And we're going to open that and we're going to apply this down at the centre of the spotlight eye using the same brush. And because we're applying with a fluffy brush, it goes on just a little bit more random rather than a big splodge of glitter. Oh, I love it. And then the glue is pretty good, but you have some, you have some playtime with it. And then you can put on some more if you need. I think my favourite thing about grungy looks like this is it doesn't need to be perfect. I, I am not perfect. <laughs> I am really slapdash with my makeup but it seems to have worked well so far. I'm going to zoom you out and we're actually going to go and finish the rest of our face and then come back to eyes so let's go. Okay so you can see from afar it just looks super romantic at the moment. It ain't gonna stay like that. We're gonna get real grungy. So I have primed my face already. The next stop is the Neod Photography Fluid Opacity 12%. I don't know if you guys remember but I went absolutely crazy over this product and I'm super excited to use it again. It is stunning. Dunning. It's like a veil over your face that makes photos of your skin look incredible. It gives you a really nice glow as well. So I've got some on my hand here and I'm just going to take it on my fingers and apply that all over my skin. It is stunning and it's not heavy at all. It just gives your skin that really nice shine. It's got pigments in it that just bounce back so your skin looks like it's glowing from inside. Next is foundation. Today I'm going to be using the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced, an old favourite of mine. I'm going to take a couple of pumps on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to blend that in with a brush. The colour I'm using by the way is sand. It is the most beautiful golden undertone foundation ever. This foundation is definitely on the more glowy side. So if you guys are looking for a medium to full coverage that's dewy and you maybe have dry skin, this foundation is perfect. Once our foundation's on, I'm gonna go back to my Born This Way concealer and we're just gonna conceal all the usual spots under our eyes. Cupid's bow, chin, the little exclamation mark on her nose and then the little forehead tree and then I'm just going to push that into the skin using a flat brush and then up near the under eye I'm just going to take a clean blending brush just to blend that up towards the eye because you don't want to ruin your eye makeup. Now I'm just going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder again and we're just going to go under the eyes. Now I'm going to take my Nude Sticks Nudies in Bondi Bay. This is just a kind of stick colour that I really like to use for cream contouring. So I'm going to take this and we're just going to sculpt the face, the cheekbones, we're going to go around the chin make my jawline look snatched and not like I've got a potato face and then just the forehead like so and then I'm actually just going to take my foundation brush and blend that in and you can see that just bronzes the face up it is actually so stunning the texture and the finish it gives your skin I absolutely love it I've been using that product to death and it's really nice if you're on holiday and you just want a bit of bronzer on your skin. For bronzer today, to set this, I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush for this. 
and we're going to start setting this contour and bronzing up the face a little bit. And once you've done that with a big brush, you can go in with a smaller brush just to concentrate the bronzer on one area and makes it more like a contour. And then I'm just going to contour my nose slightly with Hoola as well. Do you know, that is the perfect colour for a contour. It's not too orange at all. Oh, I look snatched. So when I'm going out out to the party, I actually don't like to use blusher. I just like to use bronzer and highlighter and give that kind of golden goddess vibe. So the highlighter I'm going to use is the Becca Opal. This was probably one of my first purchases of Cult Beauty. It is very special to me. This must be like my 10th Becca Opal highlighter, I swear to God. So I'm just gonna apply that on everywhere. And then center of my face, Cupid's bow. Oh, I love it. And then we're gonna do it above the brow as well because we want super glowy skin. I'm gonna take a little clean eyeshadow brush and we're just gonna highlight the brow bone before we do our eyebrows as well. We are going to go back into the eyeballs now and finish them off. So you can see that skin close up. Oh, I just love it. We're going to start making the eyes a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going to take my Nude Sticks Magnetic Eye Colour and this is the shade Night. And it is just a super creamy black, black, black pencil. And we're just going to go in the waterline with this. And I'm going to tightly my eyeball. I really hate doing this. Like, look how intense black that is. It's so good. Tight line. That was not bad. This is a much comfier pencil. Now what we're going to do is go back into our eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this super dark colour first and we're going to smoke out this black pencil underneath our eye. And then once you've done that dark colour, I'm going to take the warmer dark brown and I'm just going to really buff this out and warm up the under eye a little bit just so it matches the top a little bit more. And the way I do that is just don't be scared, go in with your colour, lay it against your cheek and just go ham. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Lashes in the style Camille number 16. They're really small and short. So you can just stick them on, they're much easier than the long ones. So we're going to use these today. And for mascara, I'm going to use an oldie but goodie. This is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And we're just going to apply a generous coat on the top and bottom lashes. And this little mascara wand has a slight curve to it. So it just cuddles your little bottom lash and you can really build them up. For lips, I'm going to be using the Jouer Longwear Cream Lip Liner in the shade Sienna. And I'm going to be using the NYX Lip Lingerie in Dusk to Dawn, which is just a really light, 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 kind of more corally nude. It's really pretty. So we're going to do lip liner first, as usual. And then I know that this lipstick is super light, so what I'm going to do is apply it and then I'm going to pat it on with my finger. So you guys, this is the finished look. Now for the Cult Beauty birthday party, I am sorted makeup wise, I just need to go and get something to wear. The next time you'll see me guys, I will be at the party, having the best time, living my best life. And I just wanna say thank you so much to Cult Beauty for sponsoring this video. It has been really, really fun as always to work with you. Thank you so much guys for tuning in and watching. I appreciate it so, so much. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye. I'm ready. So I just recreated my makeup look from the tutorial. I went a little bit darker with it this time using the same product, but I just had more time, you know, more time to play around. And now it's time to go. I'm just wearing a khaki jumpsuit and like suit trousers. I'm also wearing heels and I really regret it already.
guys, welcome back. Mm. Definitely not. Definitely not. Emails. Thank you. Airbrush flawless felt. <laughs> Stop. To oh, see you. If that's possible. There's a fly in here. There's a fly in here. Get. I like to just do this and still and really small and short, so they're short. Short. 